good morning to all myself dr tv nagaraj i am working as an associate professor in department of it mlr institute of technology hyderabad in the last session we discussed one of the main object oriented programming principle inheritance now in this session we will move to the next principle of object oriented programming polymorphism what is this polymorphism how do we achieve polymorphism in java so polymorphism means many forms so we know that one poly means many morphism means forms what is mean by this one for example consider me right now i am acting as a lecturer suppose whenever i went to home i am acting as a father and i am acted as a child suppose if i am learn something i am acted as a student depending upon the situation one person behaves in a different fashion that is polymorphism now in java this polymorphism is categorized into two types one is static polymorphism another one is dynamic polymorphism now we will discuss one by one first one static polymorphism simply the polymorphism that is available at compilation stage that means we are identifying this particular programming component behaves in a different fashions that identification is done at the compilation time that is called static polymorphism so this is also called as compile time polymorphism what is the main example overloading either instance method overloading or static method overloading or constructor overloading whatever it is overloading is done at static is done at compile time polymorphism now in this example we will discuss method overloading in the next sessions we will discuss how do you perform constructor overloading constructor chaining everything no problem first of all what is mean by method overloading method overloading means in the same class remember the terms in the same class we have more than one method with the same name more than one method with the same name but difference in either number of parameters or type of parameters that is called method overloading that means consider one class within the class i written a method three times for all the three times the method name is same but their difference in either number of parameters or type of parameters remember this polymorphism either overloading or overriding does not depends on written type why i will show you with one practical example then you will get some clear idea class demo overload demo overload or else take the simple class class some sample within this one write down one method void add of void add of into a comma into b so just to addition here what i am doing system dot out dot print ln just to here i am doing operation a plus b close this method close this method now here what i am doing add of float a comma float b here add of int a comma int b comma int c here addition a plus b plus c suppose if you want you can write one more method here just to float of or double of or long of whatever it is now you observe 
हियर ऐड इज द मेथड ऐड इज द मेथड टू इंटीजर पैरामीटर्स हियर टू फ्लोट पैरामीटर्स थ्री इंटीजर पैरामीटर्स वन फ्लोट पैरामीटर वन इंटीजर पैरामीटर लाइक दिस नाउ this is called method overloading the name of the method is same that is add difference in either number of parameters or type of parameters all these are done in the single class sample now whenever i am calling which method is executed i will show you class demo overload class demo overload public static void main of string args within this one create an object for sample class new sample now s dot add of if i pass some 2.3 f comma 4 so f specifies that is a floating point number whenever i call this method what happened one floating value one integer value first to go to here matches no go to here match no go to here no here so yes this consists of one floating value one integer value this method is executed now understand in this one the return type does not involve just to call the method based on either type or number suppose s dot add of 2 3 4 now the method with three integer parameters is executed s dot add of 2.3 f comma 3.4 f the method with two floats are executed s dot add of 2 comma 3 the method with two integers are executed understand in all the cases which method is executed that depends on either number of parameters type of parameters it does not involve does not involve return type now clear here what i am doing i overload the instance method anyway before the method if you use static void stat static void add static void add static void add no problem that is static method overloading now save and execute mm -hmm. sorry demo overload dot java demo overload dot java now go to the command prompt java c demo overload dot java java space demo overload see this one program executed su successfully according to the values i passed that corresponding add method is executed this is called overloading here especially speaking this is called stat instance method overloading before the method if i use a static keyword then that is called static overloading static method overloading at the time of static method overloading static method no need to object so directly we can call the method by using class name we already know the procedure static sample 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 now executed successfully now this is called method overloading here understand which method is executed that is identified at the compilation stage that is the reason this is called static method overloading or instance method overloading simply this is called static polymorphism now the second point is dynamic polymorphism here the polymorphism that means which method is executed 
identified at the time of execution. Only two stages are there. One is compilation stage. Second one is execution stage. If it is identified at the compilation stage, that is called static polymorphism. If you are identified at the execution stage, that is called dy dynamic polymorphism. It is also called as runtime polymorphism. What is an example? Overriding. What is mean by overriding? Simply, parent class consists of one method. Anyway, the method is available to the child class. In the child class, if we again redefine the method, that is called redefinition of a method means overriding. Remember, the parent class method signature and the child class same signature. Whatever the method available in the parent class, same data type, same number of parameters that must be in the child class. Then only that is called method overriding. If all are same, at the time of execution, that will be identify which one is executed, parent or child. Overriding. Overriding. I will show you with one example. Now, class some sample within this class take one method y display of within this display method or else int some variable within this one what i am doing system dot out dot print ln out dot print ln in parent plus a. I am just printing the value of a in parent. Close this one. Now, create another class. Overriding means two classes. The parent class method is overridden in the child class. Create another class sample 2. Assume sample 1. Make this one as the child class. Make this one as the child class. What is your aim? Within the program, anyway display method is available, but observe, I return the same display method, same data type, same number of parameters, system dot out dot print ln. Here, I redefine in child a. This is called method overriding. I think you clear. Now, whenever we are creating an object for the child class, by using that object, we call the child method. We call the display. Which one is executed? Obviously, overridden method is executed. See this one. Class demo override public static void main string args of now create an object for sample to new sample to of by using that object if you call the display method which display method is executed the method in the child class suppose initially a is equal to 3 after some time a is equal to 5 now what is the value of a 5 Exactly. Anyway, the display is available, but here I overridden the display method. If I overridden, now save demo override dot Java Java C Java space. See this one in child 3. In child a value 3. You got it? In child 3. Right? This is called method overriding. This is called method overriding. Clear? What is a polymorphism? A thing is observed in many fashions. 
either a static polymorphism that is identified at the compile stage for that we are using overloading concept dynamic polymorphism is identified at the execution stage for that dynamic polymorphism is achieved through overriding this is the concept of polymorphism thank you